The electronics can be one of the most intimidating parts of building your bot. So today, we're gonna to be revealing the tips and tricks that keep the best bots in the fight. We've got with us Kenny, who has never wired a bot before. And if she can do it, you can too. Kenny's Connector Showdown. You might know Kenny better from her art on the map. Maximizermerch.com for all your Maximizer merch. Link in the bio. <laughs> look how look how great this shirt is it's a great shirt if you want to support this channel and what we're doing here buying a shirt is the best way to do it this is the equipment that i take to every event it's nothing crazy so if you're about to go spend a ton of money on tools it's really not required if you want to make reliable and solid connections we've got a 20 dollars soldering iron a pair of wire cutters thick lighter hot glue gun and then a pair of vice grips all right now we do the consumables. The consumables are where it gets a little bit more involved. You've got heat shrink, DuPont connectors, and wire. The most important thing is getting wire that's silicone stranded wire. The reasoning is silicone is inflammable, which means it's not gonna catch on fire. I learned that flammable and inflammable mean the same thing. Okay. Silicone wire is also more flexible than PVC wire, so you can get a more compact wiring harness. Heat shrink comes in two flavors. We've got marine grade, which has an adhesive liner, and normal. I prefer marine grade for some of my connectors, but not all of it. The adhesive liner makes it stiff in some areas. Last are the connectors. We've got two prong, three prong, ring, and then DuPont. How much is an MR60 rated for? How many amps? Comment down below what you're getting. <laughs> Seven. No. Hell. No. Higher or lower? An MR60 is rated for 60 amps. An XT30 is rated for? 60. 30 amps. 30. The connector that you're gonna use should be rated for the continuous amp draw of whatever motor or ESC that it's connected to. Obviously. <laughs> Most ESCs will come with your DuPont connectors, but for that 10% chance that they don't, I like to buy a pack just in case. For reference, here's a matrix with the most common connectors you're gonna see in combat robotics. The power supplying will always be the female bullet, and the power receiving will always be the male bullet. If you ever feel lost, here's a diagram of my electronics. Keep in mind that these are gonna vary based on weight class and power draw. Kenny's Connector Showdown. <laughs> Round one. First connector is a two prong XT90. The most important part when doing these connectors is to plug them into each other. That's gonna keep them from melting. So I'm gonna start by prepping my wires. So I'm gonna come in here and the technique for stripping wires is I'm going to cut in turn 90, cut in, and then pull. And then I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch exposed. Cut, 90, cut, and then twist the wires together to prevent any flyaways. Any little piece of wire that could be hanging out could end up shorting to the other side, so we wanna prevent that. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Look at those. Well done. Okay. The next step is tinning wires. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna give it a two count and let the heat soak into the wire. And then I'm going to just kind of let the solder wick itself into the joint. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to tin my connector. So the technique is the same. I'm gonna bring my soldering iron in. I'm gonna wait for a two count. And then I'm just gonna lay that solder in there and let the joint soak it up. And what I'm looking for is nice solder coverage with a little bit of a negative fillet. Then I'm gonna come in here with my wire and the technique is exactly the same. I'm gonna lay my soldering iron on there, wait for a two count, and then push the solder into the joint. You're gonna wanna get up yeah, close. Yeah, I wanna get one. up close for this one. That one on the left there, that one's a 10-10. It's nice and shiny. There's a nice negative fillet. It's connected on all sides. One thing that I'm looking for when I'm pushing this heat shrink on is any little loose wire or flyaway that could short from one side of the connector to the other. 
That's that's the two prong done, baby. Gauntlet one. That's a ten. Kenny's connector gauntlet round two. A three prong connector. It's got one more prong. It's got three. So these are good for doing your motor hookup, your drive hookup. Is that? Does that make sense? What? <laughs> <laughs> Say it all over again. I wasn't listening. <laughs> The biggest difference with these is that they're not labeled positive and negative, they're labeled one, two, three. So the most important thing is that however you solder one drive motor, you solder all of your drive motors that way. So phase A is going to one, phase B to two, phase three to C, that's consistent through all of your spares. This time I was listening. Thanks, Jake. That way, if you have to switch one out, you don't need to worry about one of your phases getting switched with the other and accidentally reversing your motor. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so I've got my tinned wire here. Set that down. Push in with my solder. Yeah, it's looking good. There we go. <clears throat> Woo -hoo. Round two completed. Nice. No, it looks good. All right. Round three is going to be the ring connector. This is going to be your main connector for your red main power distribution or your black main power distribution. So typically with ring connectors, we just rely on a crimp to hold it in position but this is robot combat. So we don't crimp it, we solder to it. So what I do is I come in here with the vice grips and then I'll clamp down. And what that does is it bends and all that does is lightly clamp down on it, hold it in place when I go to solder it. It's then I'll come in here with my soldering iron, I'll hold in place for one, two seconds and then do the same thing where I press the solder and I'm just looking to fill that up and the capillary action of the connector will do a lot of the work for me. So what I'm looking for is the solder is coming out the front with like a nice negative fillet and that means that this is kind of pumped with solder and it's nice and filled up. It takes a lot of solder though. It does. It does take a lot of solder. Perfect. So that's got a nice negative fillet. Looks good. It's super reliable. You can yank on it all day long. You won't have a problem. Push all the way up. Nice. There you have it. That, that's a 10-10. Ten, ten. Ken, ring connector. 10-10. Ten, 10-10. Ten. Ten, ten. <laughs> the last one. <laughs> Round four, DuPont connector. Now, I get a lot of questions about this. This is what I run instead of a BEC. What this is, is it connects to the balance plug on my battery and it runs 2S voltage to my receiver. I wouldn't recommend this for 99% of people. Just run a BEC or run it off your weapon ESC's internal BEC. The reason why I'm running this is because I've got a sensor on my motor, which is experimental. And if my ESC dies, I don't wanna be out of a fight. I'm gonna start by tinning my wire and I'm gonna put a decent amount of solder on that guy. Then I'm gonna bring my DuPont connector in and then there's two sets of fins here. So there's the smaller set of fins and then there's the larger set of fins. Is the larger set's gonna go over top of the insulation. The smaller set's gonna clamp the wires. Because I've already got that tinned, I can just kind of come in here for you know, a two count or a three count and let that melt. And once that's melted, it's a way stronger connection than just doing the connector on its own. With how thin these wires are, I like to go back and pump the joint with hot glue just to remove any strain. There we go. That's Kennedy, Kenny's connector gauntlet. So now that we know how to do all of those connections, you have everything that you need to build a wiring harness for your BattleBot. This is the actual group of electronics that has been running in Maximizer since March. I've never had an issue. With a relatively basic set of tools, you can get results just as reliable as this. 
that have been running multiple competitions now. If I can do it, you can too. <laughs> to connect all these together, I use M5 bolts and lock nuts, and that finishes off the whole set for me. The last thing that we need to do is assemble it, put it in the robot, and give her a twitch test. I'll do the black one, you wanna do the red. So all you have to do, gather up all the black, 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 done. There's four. Uh, let me unplug it, please. Because we're gonna Nice. The last step here is to wrap your bolt in electrical tape and make sure you don't have any loose connectors. Just, you saw me feed it through each of the legs. It's a 10 10 wrap. And now for the most important part the twitch test. So making sure all your electronics work ahead of the fight is one of the best ways to make sure, you know, you're gonna get in the box and everything's gonna work exactly the way you expect it to. You ready? So we've got our controller on and the weapon is disconnected. There's not even a weapon on it. The drivetrain is off the table. So if this were to drive away, it would just kind of freewheel. Okay, you just plugged all this in. We're gonna turn our receiver on. Receiver on, connected. Now I'm gonna plug the robot in. When I go to plug this in, I'm gonna leave both hands on the connector. That way, if there's any sparking or shorting, I can quickly undo it. I've also got the battery outside of the robot right now. You ready? All right. Ready. Making sure nothing's sparking. Sounds good. Everything connected properly. Now I can twitch test with my controller. So forward, backward, left, right. These motors haven't been run since <laughs> the competition. They sound kind of sad. Now I'm gonna check my weapon motor. That guy sounds really <laughs> sad. Oh, that guy was cooking. Okay. Well, these electronics aren't in the best shape, but they do work. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much to Kenny. Go check out MaximizerMerch.com. Remember to like, subscribe. You want to sign off or anything? <laughs>